check this thing out. It's a blinker genie. I had to figure out a way to install a two wire LED onto a three wire turn signal circuit. And this is about the only solution I could find to that problem. Pretty interesting device. I'll show you how it works and what it's used for. I put some side markers on this car. The front running lights will come on, but the marker lights themselves are two wire and I have a three wire turn signal. So I have running lights. And then when you turn the turn signal on, there's another filament in the bulb. So it needs three wires. You'd run light, turn signal power, and then ground. The marker light only has two. So you kind of have to pick what function you want. You want it to be a marker light and it's on all the time, or do you want a turn signal? The blinker genie is a fix for that. Has some butt connectors. But we don't do that here. All right, so basically what you get in this little kit here, you have two individual modules. So we'll just focus on one of them. And you notice here, we have the red wire, which is for the running light circuit. The white wire is for the turn signal. And then a ground, which is the black wire. And then we have a single yellow on the other side. This is what's going to be used to drive the lamp. So we need to hook the black wire back into the ground on the lamp circuit. So this is gonna go to the power positive side, and this will be our ground. So let's test this thing out. I have an LED, so we have some alligator leads. The white wire is the ground circuit on this one. And there we go, We've got LED function. I'm going to crudely mock this up so you see how it works. I've heard about these before, but I've never actually installed them on a car. This is my first test run of it as well. Here we go, give us some light, jeez. It may be too much. There we go. So you take the yellow wire and you hook it to the power side of your LED, like so. And then we're actually going to twist the grounds together and then use that as our ground source. And then the red is for the running lights. So I'm gonna take an additional power source. This will be pretending like it's the turn signal. So now this one has turn signal power. And when you apply the turn signals, what's going to happen is the power on this white wire is going to cause the light to go out. So this would be lights off, running lights on, and then turn signal on, 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 on. Inverse function, which isn't bad. I don't mind that at all. Pretty clever little device. Who figured this out? It's a great idea. You get, a lot of times you get turn signals that are two wire LEDs and a car is wired up with three wires on it. So it doesn't make a whole lot of sense why they keep selling these two wires. I guess it's cheaper, I don't know. But this should solve that problem. Now it's pretty well made. I don't really like this big gap here. Looks like some moisture could get in there. So I'm gonna wrap this whole thing up with tape. Actually, I'm not gonna wrap the heat shrink part. It's really good. This is really thick heat shrink. I'm just gonna wrap these ends up a little bit better so I don't have to worry about it anymore. I'm not sure if I bought it from an official Blinker Genie distributor or if this is just an individual off of eBay, but they look really well made. So let's get them thrown on the car and see how well they work. I got the light bulb out. Is it working on old cars, son? Somebody might have had this idea before, although there's not even any solder or anything on these wires. They're just loosely wrapped. See? Wonder what that was about. Well, as you can see, I'm doing some other stuff to the car here, but I've got the genie wired in. I've got a turn signal, running lights, and the ground. And I've got the two wires here where they won't touch. Get to the other side, I've got the genie up under here. And again, got the wire so they won't touch. And I'll unlock the car. So they have power going through the turn signal. You can see that the marker is a bit quicker, but that's okay. <coughs> I'll just turn on the parking lights and you can see that they are both on. There you go. Okay, so you can see now that the parking lights and the marker lights are on at the exact same time. Same deal over here. And now we have the hazard lights. So in the low beam circuit, since this is a dual circuit bulb, it needs three wires, right? So you have a high beam and a low beam. When that low beam is on, so is the marker light. And when the high beam comes on, the marker light will turn off. So they are staggered going at different times. But when you turn the hazards off, they stay on. So you have marker and turn signal. 
And then again, that high beam circuit is going to cut power to the marker. Turn signal, same thing. So an interesting product for sure. It does take a bit of wiring, as you can see. I'm gonna run these all the way through into the hole I cut for the fender. But once that is done, I'm gonna tuck all these wires up in here and then make it to where you can't see it anymore. You still have total functionality of your turn signal and we've added a marker light. So it can be done. There are devices to get this accomplished. I'm trying to spread the word that these things exist because it's a great little invention. Whoever thought of this, absolutely genius. I hope you enjoyed the video. As always, thanks for watching.